Hi, everyone. My name is Sharon Pei, and one of my roles at the Stanford Diabetes Research Center is to connect volunteers from the community with scientists who are conducting diabetes research. Today, I will be briefly discussing what clinical research is, why you may want to participate, and how you can get involved. Briefly, clinical research is the study of people's data and samples to understand health and disease. There are two main types of clinical research, the first being observational studies, where participants are observed over time to see how their disease progresses or doesn't progress. And a participant in this sort of study may be asked to fill out periodic questionnaires and perhaps contribute biospecimens such as blood samples. The second type of clinical research are clinical trials. And this is where a new drug, device, or treatment plan is being tested for its safety, its efficacy, and overall benefit for patients. Now that you know a little bit about what clinical research is, why should you participate in clinical research? Folks participate in clinical research for a variety of reasons. Some people are curious about the new diabetes technology. Some people want to contribute to diabetes research because they have personal experience themselves or through a family member with diabetes. Some people just want a clinician paying closer attention to their health than what they get through their general care. But generally speaking, research participants want to help others by moving the science forward. At Stanford, we're asking questions such as, what sort of food is best for managing your blood sugars and keeping your A1C in that healthy range? And how does exercise affect your body at the molecular level? And what would make a continuous glucose monitor easier to use? These sort of questions cannot be answered without the generosity of research participants volunteering their time, data, and general effort towards the science. For more information about why you should participate in clinical trials, I would suggest checking out this resource by the NIDDK, which is the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases. Diabetes is right here. And this page shares with you what exactly is a clinical trial, has this informative video by one of the directors about clinical trials, who participates in them, how you can participate, and why it's worthwhile. Um, this is the URL up here, niddk.nih.gov slash health information slash clinical trials. You can just Google it. You'll find it. Um, so now that I've gone over what clinical research is, why you might get involved in a clinical trial or an observational study, I want to show you how you can get involved with clinical research at Stanford. The first place to go is our website, which is sdrc.stanford.edu, which stands for the Stanford Diabetes Research Center. Up in the top right, we have this link up here for patients. And the first page you land on is a list of all of our clinical studies that are related to diabetes at Stanford. There's quite a few. Um, each one comes with a little blurb about the study, as well as a way to get in contact with the clinical research coordinator to, to get involved. So that might be a phone number, an email. Some of these have a little screener questionnaire to go through. Um, I suggest you look through them and see if any of them would interest you. Um, the second way to get involved is to join our patient registry. The link is right here. It opens up to a consent form right here telling you what this um, registry is all about. In brief, this registry is like signing up for a mailing list. It lets us know that you're interested in participating in diabetes research and you want to be notified whenever there's a study that you might be eligible for. It is not consenting to a specific research study. It's more of being part of a mailing list. So you can sign up as an adult if you are an adult or if you're the parent or guardian granting permission for a child, you could select this one. So I will show you what this registry tells you about. I'm just going to demonstrate real quick. This registry will ask for your current diabetes status. So for myself, I am pre-diabetic. I'm not currently participating in any other research study. And I'll ask for some demographic information, your name, your date of birth, your zip code, ways of contacting you, um, what you identify as, your height and weight, and just a simple, how did you find out about this, this study? You'll notice that some of these questions are not required and it's up to you uh, if you want to fill them out or not. The reason why we ask them is because certain studies are looking for individuals who fit specific criteria. And if um, these help us screen 
um, people who are part of our registry. And finally, the last way to get involved with research at Stanford is to visit clinicaltrials.stanford.edu. This is a registry of all clinical trials happening at Stanford Medicine, not just diabetes research. You can look up diabetes in the search bar or any other disease or condition that you may or may not have. Um, a lot of clinical trials are also looking for healthy volunteers as well. So um, there's a way to filter for studies that are recruiting healthy volunteers. So in summary, the three ways to get involved with research here at Stanford is the first to get in contact with one of our clinical research coordinators who are running the clinical studies on our diabetes website. The second is to join our patient registry. And the third is to browse the clinical trials website that Stanford hosts here at clinicaltrials.stanford.edu. And if you have any questions or comments about what I presented today, the best way to get in contact with us is through the contact link in the top right of our Diabetes Research Center website over here. And you can shoot us an email. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope to see you in one of our trials one day.